Herbarium specimens are a really useful tool to learn how to identify plants. They're also a great way to keep a record of plant diversity in a certain place at a point in time. Making herbarium specimens is quite simple and doesn't require a lot of equipment. It just takes a bit of time. Here is how we make specimens at the University of Cambridge Herbarium. Before collecting any plants, check the legislation in your area to make sure that you have the right permissions and are not breaking any laws. When we collect plants in the field, with the intention of turning them into herbarium specimens, we always write down when and where they were collected, by whom, and we give them a unique collection number. We also write observations about the type of habitat in which the plant grew, and a short description of what the plant looks like. This collection information is what turns a pressed plant into a very useful scientific object. Plants need to be pressed and dried as fast as possible, otherwise they can rot and will turn brown very quickly. To do that, we use a plant press, newspaper or blotting paper, and corrugated cardboard. The plant samples are carefully placed between sheets of newspaper, then stacked on top of each other, with a piece of cardboard between each of them. The press is then tied with straps and placed in a dry, warm place for a couple of weeks. We change the newspaper after 24 hours, and then as often as necessary, until the plants are fully dried. Once they arrive at the herbarium, we freeze all the pressed specimens for at least three days at minus 40 degrees Celsius to ensure that we are not bringing any insects into the collections. We then attach the plant specimens on sheets of archival paper using gummed linen tape. We're careful to display the sample in a way that allows for all the important identification characters to be accessible. For example, the flowers, fruits and both sides of the leaves need to be visible. A label containing the name of the species and all the collection information is glued to the sheet. This way, the plant specimen and the relevant information will always remain together. The specimens are then laid away in the collections. They are organized by plant family, genus, world region and species. This way, we know where to look for a species when we get a request. Once dried and pressed, herbarium specimens are stable for centuries. They can be used for a wide variety of research projects, such as studying how plant groups evolved, documenting how some plant species have been used by humans and introduced to new locations through time, uncovering the origin of certain plant diseases, or finding wild relatives of crops to improve future food safety.